A representative of Hockey Canada had conversations with... It began not with an apology, but a promise to do better. Hockey Canada is on a journey to change the culture of our sport and to make it safer and more inclusive. Hockey Canada's senior leadership dragged onto the Parliament Hill carpet to explain how and why they settled a $3.5 million lawsuit brought by a woman who was allegedly assaulted by a group of unnamed junior hockey players in 2018 following a London, Ontario gala. To this day, you don't know how many players... The questions from MPs got pointed, including when executives suggested few players cooperated with the police or an independent outside investigation into the allegations. My, my goodness, so the vast majority of the players did not participate or did not cooperate with the investigation? Is I, that I can't answer that, I apologize. I don't know for sure, but I can tell you that because of the incomplete report, there is not much more that we have to offer in terms of information along those lines. A public humiliation for an organization that usually thrives on national pride. CBC News has reported Hockey Canada received $14 million from Ottawa over the past two fiscal years, emergency COVID relief and funds to support the men and women's national teams. I do. But today, executives said none of that money was used to settle the unnamed woman's lawsuit, that the money instead came out of the nonprofit's $125 million worth of stocks and bonds. We liquidated a portion of our investments to pay for... Uh, pay for the settlement and that that is set in a sorry kept in a separate account from what our government funding would be our business development and sponsorship funding our ticket revenues merchandise and etc hockey canada remains one of the country's richest sporting bodies although sports minister pascal senange put the organization on notice so we will totally review the funding agreements, the contribution agreements. We will have checks and balances to ensure accountability. Okay, so Jonathan, what is the takeaway from this hearing in the sense of, you know, what's changed in the wake of these allegations? Well, from what Hockey Canada told committee members today, not much. There was a lot of talk about strengthening the organization's code of conduct and rules around serving alcohol at events. And after the lawsuit was filed, they hired a new safe sport coordinator. But what many Canadians might be left with here is what didn't happen. The police probe was abandoned. The outside investigation was never completed. No charges, no names, and to date, no consequences. Okay, Jonathan Gayhouse, thank you very much.